Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Allison. Welcome and for today's video, I want to do a mini project pen and I know I did one last two years and I just do not update anything and I think I fell on that one but this year it's almost the end of the year and now it's October and the reason I'm saying this is a mini project pen because it's almost the end of the year so these are the products that I'm aiming to finish up the end of the year which is December and I'll give you guys an update in January 1st or the first week of January to see how the progress it is and did I end up fail on the task or did I end up using all this product so if you guys are interested on this mini project pen then let's keep on watching so first product is this no brand Japanese brow product I got it from Daiso and it only cost you a dollar and fifty cents and this is a really good brow product considering to the price it does give you a very nice waxy shade and I love the tip of it it just gives you that angle just like the Anastasia one or a lot of brand brow product out there it's like the same formula same shade so i'm really liking this one and this is how much i have it left so i'm aiming to finish this product at the end of the year for sure it does come with a spoolie so it comes in handy the only complaint that i have is this part of the cap is really easy to loose up so make sure if you guys are traveling with this make sure you keep this um or just make sure you have it secure on this cap and because this brow product is almost gone and I'm also aiming to finish this Benefit Brow Contour Pro. So this is their new brow pencil from Benefit. I really like it. If I do have more than 10 minutes on my makeup routine, I'll be using this one. If I'm rushing, I'll be using the Daiso one. And the reason I'm saying this requires you more time to do your brows because you do have different colors here and you do need something with another brow pencil that comes with the spatula to blend it out with the color because this doesn't come with the spatula with it so you do have to go into pencil and that is something that it's high maintenance and you do need time to do that it does come with a highlighter and a defined definition so it's just really nice and convenient to shape up your um, color just clean out that brow shade and I mainly only use the lighter shade and the dark shade I barely use the highlighter the only time that I would use it because I would have more time in the morning to get ready or I'm filming a video that I'll be using this too to make it look more defined looking on my brow so I'm thinking this would be something I will be finishing this year and I'm not sure how many product it comes in this pencil because once you squeeze it out, you can go to back on the product. So I don't know how much is in there, but I'm hoping that I can finish it up. And I do like this product. Next brow product is also from Benefit. This is their Give Me Brow Gel and I'm in the shade number 5. If you guys watch my favorites video, I do really like how this um, blend and the color on my brow hair and I used to use this every single day before going into my brow because it just gives me very quick easy drawer um, on the brow because it already gives you a color it just gives you the fill in shade but now that I'm only using it as a brow gel to lift up my hairs so this is something that I'll be using every single day now but not as much as I used to to fill in the gap but to put my brows hair up on the day and now we're going back to the base on my face product. So first of all, this is the Tatcha Silk and Pore Perfecting Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 35. I talk about this on my various video on my channel and I do really like this product because sometimes if I'm lazy, I'll be using this as a sunscreen and a primer as well. So this is almost gone, you guys can tell, but I do have some product over here and I want to commit to myself. I want to use it up before this year end. So this would be the SPF or primer. I wanna use it up before this year end. Next product, this is from Ipsa. This is a primer in SPF 20 PA2+. This is the brand from Japan and I did got this in Hong Kong two years ago and I believe it might be expired but I don't wanna toss it away because I don't wanna waste a product but I'm sure it's still works because I did use it a couple days ago and this is mainly 
the yellow base of a primer to correct your darkness on your face. So usually I will use it on my chin area and around my nose, which is my darkest area, and that's it. So it's really hard to use it up on the product, but I will say I do have one third of it left and I want to commit to myself I want to use this all up because I'm sure it's already expired but it didn't clog my pores or it didn't um, make me break out so I want to commit to myself to use this up and I did just got a little product here and I want to show you guys this is what it looks like so this is like a yellow base of a primer it brightens up your face and it's super smooth so a little really goes a long way with this primer, but I do want to commit to finish this up. Next product, this is a concealer. And usually concealer, I do have a lot of different ones that I'm using. Depends on my skin issues or depends on my mood, what kind of concealer I want to wear. But this year, I do want to commit to using only one concealer. And this is my recent favorite. The Liquid Comiflog High Coverage Concealer from Catrix. And you guys can tell... This is how much I used already on the product. And this has became my everyday makeup concealer because it's just very lightweight and it's not as full coverage as my Too Faced one. So I really like this, how it gives me a very natural looking, but it still, it does the job on conceal my dark circles. So I want to commit to finish this up and I'm already using it every single day. So might as well, I think I'm going to finish this up at the end of this year. Okay, foundation. Foundation is something that it's really hard for me to use up one bottle. I know if some people have only one foundation in their collection and it's like a one ounce of foundation, it's easy to use it up within, I would say, two months. But for me, I do test a lot of foundation on my channel and foundation is something that really depends on my skin issues, my moisturize level on my face to see how, what moisturizer I want to use that day but this is something that I've been using a lot a lot a lot lately this is the benefit hello happy soft blur foundation and number three this has a light medium coverage and SPF 15 I've been loving this foundation by itself because it didn't break me out and it didn't separate on my chin area and also it's just a very nice perfect everyday makeup look and using a brush it just gives you a very nice coverage I personally like using this foundation with a brush instead of a sponge because it's already a light coverage foundation and I don't want my sponge to soak up that foundation and coverage so I'll be using a brush on this um, foundation and I do really like the coverage and it does stay very nicely on my face within 11 hours considering for my oily face 11 hours is a lot of wear hours of wear on the foundation and this it still holds up on my face so i'll be trying to use this up at the end of the year i already use up almost half of this so i want to commit myself again to use this up at the end of the year next face product and i'm so embarrassing to say this because this product is already appear on my first project pen in 2016 or 17 but i fell on that project but this has come back to my mini project again because I do really want to use this up. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade number 2 medium. So as you guys can see, it already hit pen, but every time my products hit pen, I just stop using it because I love it so much and I don't want it to use up as soon as possible. So I just stop using it if something that I really like um, on the product and hit pen, I just stop it because I don't want to run out of the product that I like. But this has to go because it has been longer than a year or two and it does last for 30 months and I'm sure I already used more than 30 months on this product. So I do want to finish this up and commit myself. This is something that I need to use it up in this year so it doesn't went as bad as I can use this product anymore. Moving on to the contour, I have this little sample size from Sephora. So this is the Kevin Aquan little sample size sculpting powder in medium. And I do have a large 
um, regular size in my collection but this is like the sample size and I do use this up a lot but I still got a lot of product in this sample size and the sample size is really worth because I've been using this up strictly a month and I still got a lot of product on it the only complaint that I have is it's such a small pen if it's like a little square it's just easier for my brush to get in it but I still want to commit to use this up on the sample size and this product, I was hesitant to put this product into the mini project pen because a highlighter is just really hard for me to use up one highlighter no matter how big or small pen it is because highlighter, I do have a lot in my collection and it really, again, depends on my mood. But this is something that you don't use much because you use only one small side on your face on the cheek and this side on the face on your cheek. I don't use it on my body because... It's not summer now. So therefore, I choose this small pen sample size again from Becca. And this is a shimmering skin perfecting pressed in the shade Opal. And Opal, I already have a full size of it. And of course, I still have it. But I want to use this small sample size to start with. And this sample size is really nice because it does come in this mirror on top on the cap. So... I'm gonna see if I can heat pen. My goal is to heat pen on this highlighter. It's not just use it up, but just heat pen. Because highlighter is just really hard for me to use it up because how little that you use and I just wanna commit to heat pen on this one. Okay, now last but not least, lip product. I have two lip products here. They're all sample size and you guys know I'm a lipstick junkie. I don't have over 100 lipstick in my collection and my mom always scold me about that. So these two lip products, I just want to start with a sample size because full size product, I just, I can't do it because I would get bored of the shade if I'm committed to use only one shade in these two months. So first of all, this is the lipstick from Tarte and this is like my lips but better color. This is in the shade Colada and this is what the color looks like it's just like my lips but better color and this is how much the product comes in this mini size so this is a lipstick formula and the next product this is NARS this is a lip gloss and in the shade bond this is their velvet lip glide lip gloss the application is a little patchy so this is bond from NARS and the reason I choose this two sample size because they are very easy to wear kind of color you can wear every day kind of look so I hope these two shades I can at least went through half of it hopefully but I never finished up a lipstick I did finish up a lip balm before but that is something that you will use every single day but a lip gloss I don't think I have ever committed to use one lip gloss and finish it up so this is like my goal right here of this year to finish up this two lip gloss and lipstick okay guys so i have put all this product in one bin so make sure that every day i will reach to this bin to finish up the product this is like a commitment to myself so i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and i highly recommend you guys do this little mini project pen you don't have to do a huge one you can do something that it's almost gone and you still want to you set up and just commit to use this product out before starting a new one because I constantly have a lot of new product or new makeup to try for my channel. So this is a little project or task that I commit myself to do it before um, the next year I want to finish up the pr this product. Oh, before that, I do have one more product that I want to talk about. This is the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm almost out of it and I want to put this in my mini project pen mainly because I want to use this up and because I do have something else on my table I want to use every single day to reach for on the setting powder but I have to commit myself to stick to this one because I'm almost almost out of it I'm so close to it so this is something that I want to make sure myself and put it out here for you guys. I'm going to finish this up. And I think this will be my first setting powder that I will ever finish. Because setting powder, it does come in 29 grams, which is 1 ounce on this setting powder. It's just so hard for me to run out any setting powder. Even though I do use 
a lot because I do have oily skin, but I do, again, have a lot of setting powder, but I want to commit to finish this up before I move on to a new one. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I highly recommend you guys to do this mini project pen. You don't have to start off a lot of product at once. This product, I mostly use half of it and I want to commit to finish it up at the end of this year because once I use like half of it, I just get so bored on the product and I just move on to a new product. But this is something that I want to commit, finish it up and I'm almost out of it. So I want to make sure this product, it has to go at the end of the year. So this is a little goal that I want to accomplish at the end of this year. And I highly recommend you guys to do that too. So that's it for this video. And I hope you guys enjoy watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.